from 2015. Queensland narrowly lost the ARL Australian Rugby League Grand Final. The scores were locked at 16 all at full time. Queensland had a kick and narrowly missed as the ball hit one of the goal bars, putting the game into golden point extra time. Queensland kicked off to Queensland and a Queenslander dropped the ball and knocked on in front of the goal. A scrum did not lead to an immediate score, but a few tackles later, a Queensland kicked a goal and won the golden point in the match. But really, a Queensland win was inevitable. For the record, the Cowboys defeated Brisbane. Wayne Bennett's sole grand final loss of his career. Queensland should feel a little frustrated and proud. Meanwhile, the Liberals' new leader, Malcolm Turnbull's pulling the party to the left, has claimed a gaffe from ALP leader Shorten. While it is true that no Conservative can ever lean far enough left to get votes from the lefties, that is what that is not what has happened. A good family man was senselessly gunned down by a 15-year-old terrorist the other day. Mr. Abbott had previously said that the Islamic community needed to close ranks and shun those who bring Islam into disrepute. But... The press felt that such opinions were extreme right-wing. Malcolm Turnbull has instead said that the Islamic community needs to advise him how Australia can change to make them more comfortable and not send their young to kill randomly. This seems to have scared Shorten, who relies on the small but uniform support of Islamic peoples who like to be exploited by cynical politicians. Shorten went to the left and ignored the victims to empathize with terrorists' family, some of whom were probably responsible for radicalizing the idiot and giving him a gun. Turnbull's lurch to the left has paid off for now. For some, at the moment, the sex party has more credibility.